and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Video Guide. And today, I'm going to go over the Madden market as per usual. Now, with the, this today's video, though, I'm going to be also looking at Tyree Kill because he did come out yesterday, right? And I bet hundreds of you are wondering right now, is he worth it to buy? Me, myself, I'm wondering that, so... I've kind of got a pretty good consensus of it. I'm going to go over to his card towards the end, like at some point while we get to when he gets to his overalls and I'm going to be looking at him and I'm going to be going over whether or not I think Tyreek Hill is worth it. Is it worth the money? Should you wait? What's the thing? Because I know plenty of you guys want Tyreek Kill, fastest card in the game. We're going to get all into that, guys. But before we get into the video and go over the market and do our whole market talk segment like we usually do, and I know I've been doing a few more than usual, but the market's been changing drastically. We got out of a promo, some things dropped, team of the week. So, you know, it's, it's a good time to do it. I feel like every time there should be, if there's a reason to do it, why not do it, right? Now, guys, before we get into the video, you guys probably noticed already, I finally cut my hair. It's literally been like, I don't even know, since August. I haven't cut my hair since, <coughs> since August. You know how long ago that was? I was out last night, I was freezing. My head was cold, my face was cold. I used to have like a nice blanket all over. Now it's, it feels weird, guys. I'm not used to it, but don't gas me up in the comments. Now anyways, guys, before we get into the video, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that noti bell, come join the family, boys. Like I said, comment down below, and give this video a big thumbs up. All the loyal fans, all the supporters, I finally got the haircut, so smash the like button you guys have been asking for. Now anyways, let's get into the video. So let's get down below to the auction, let's go down below to the auction block. Let's get these videos done, boys. I'm trying to play COD today, so I gotta get through all my stuff first. Now, coming over to 80 to 81s. Uh, guys, I'm not gonna spend too much time on these anymore. I'm pretty sure you guys know. I know. They're 7K. They're, they're cheap as hell. I'm really not gonna sit here. Uh, in my opinion, if you're gonna build a team, I've been saying start from the 84s. The 84s are still so cheap, and the stats are way better than the 81s. Like, it's a whole different game. Like, you can actually find players like Malik Hooker that are usable at this price point. Now, this is where I, I, this focus on this video isn't the overall. It's going to be where I want to segment it. And I believe that's going to start with the high overall. So I want to start right around here. So first things first, guys, as a little like investment tip. And it's, not, it's nothing too great. It's just something that I keep. Well, it's not so much an investment, right? This tip is pretty much just what I recommend you start looking at because these cards are going to, are going to start getting cards. So, for instance, the base elites. Now, obviously, I think Patrick Mahomes will be getting a card soon. I think it'll be a Thanksgiving card. I personally think it'll be a Thanksgiving or a Blitz card. So, he's really cheap. So, if you guys, I mean, I have a power pass that I'll probably end up using on him. But if you guys want, you might want to start picking up a few base elites that you might want cards for. Maybe, like, let's say you think Zach Martin's going to get a card, JJ Watt, Patrick Mahomes. Let's just say, right? I think Mahomes personally will get a card. So, for me, I might want that Mahomes. So, I got to make sure I have all his pieces ready for when I have to power him up. So, I'm just saying I'd be on top of that because he's basically are super cheap. You can get guys like Julio Jones for cheap. Do I think Julio's getting a card soon? Probably not. Julio will probably be in line for like a Christmas type card. But look at that, 35K. Julio Jones is 35K. That's ridiculous. Odell Beckham Jr., 38K. Another guy that I'd probably want to get if he got a card. I just don't know when he'll get one because he's not playing too great in real life, although it's probably more of a factor of the Brown system more so than Odell. Maybe I'm just a biased Giants fan, but it is what it is. 88s, super cheap. You guys already know. Uh, what I recommend, I recommend you guys build a team here too. Like 88s are a great place. You guys get such a great value. Like you could get a, a solid line, a really solid line right just here alone. You can get some pass rushers. You pretty much get two players, so like 110k. That's really cheap for my opinion. Start building the team. Now, specifically guys, if you want a training right now, training's at a really cheap price point. Like those 86s were 85, over 35k like we're out in Julio Jones. That's really cheap. Do I think that's the best value? Uh, probably not. I mean, 64. 64k? Am I blind? Was that always 64k? Yeah, right? Let me go look up. So, let me go look up. 64k divided by, what's the training value again? 2640? 24 coins per training. Wow. Qu training's at a very very low point right now now guys see so now we know right this promo was weird so in years past or should i say last year the way trading worked was this pretty much all these most year cards would be really cheap and when they converted to training they'd come up and match the other cards like so instead of being 60k they would have came up to 80k but this year 
the every el everything else came down to meet them. It's really weird that it hasn't happened before. Now the only thing I can think of is that they gave us way too much training with the make right. So everyone had so much training, they didn't need that much training at this time in this period of time, right? <coughs> and the promo didn't require that much training. So I think the promo not requiring that much training plus the extra training might be why that happened. So we can't anticipate this happening again just yet. We'd have to see it again. Or they just released so many cards that it was just too hard to keep up with how many cards they have to sell back. I don't know. It's either one of those two. But I can't pinpoint it yet because, again, they did give people hundreds of thousands of training and make rights. They gave away a bunch of free cards. Uh, people didn't really care for the promo in that aspect. They got the free player. So I can't entirely pinpoint why that might have happened. But that is so crazy. 24 coins per training. You know, you know, do you know how cheap that is? We used to be hype over 38 point, a 30 coin training conversion. That means you can get so, you can get so many training. You can get so much. Let's see. Let's say you want a hundred thousand. Let's say fifty thousand training times 24. It would cost you 1.2 million to get fifty thousand training. You know how much that is? 600k for 25,000 training. So that means you can get like 13k for 300, which is yeah, 13k for 300, which is paid Manning. Guys, prices are ridiculous right now. Now, let's head over to this Tyreek Hill. Obviously, we want to see that. So, let's go to the 90-91s. And we should see him in short order right about here. 90 overalls being at 115, guys. That is just it's crazy. Let's see. 160. 190 overalls quick sell for? 49. 116 divided by 49. I think it's like 4940. 23 coins. It's even cheaper if I have that right. <coughs> Excuse me. Guys, that's ridiculous. I mean, like, it's cool and all. But... I hope you guys sold some of your stuff before this promo ended. I did tell you guys. Most fear cards, no. Most fear cards kind of retail. They held their value, right? So it was indifferent what I said about them. Because this was a weird instance that we were used to. But regular cards, I've been saying, guys, you never want to go into promos with regular cards. You don't really want to use regular cards during promos. I like to rock with promo players during promos because I know that they'll, they'll, they'll be popular. They'll retain value for a little bit. Like those paid Mannings. Although they didn't go up too much, they'll still sell for the same price. Now these other cards got killed and they know thanksgiving so many since people are pre-selling for that too at some point now let's see if we can get down to this tyree kill there he is 800k he's obviously not 800k he's like 500 let's go i'll search him up for you guys go to chiefs also by the way pat um travis kelsey's been really cheap i've been really tempted to buy this card he's not that great but i'm a big fan of kelsey and let's come down to let's come down to hill hill's 505 509 compare him tory holt gets killed randy moss gets killed deandre hopkins is killed it's sad because he's literally a replica of McCole Hardman. Same speed, slightly better jumping, worse catching, similar catch drive, worse back catch, better route running slightly, except for deep route running. Now, the only thing that he gets, right? We, we, what we have to give him, though, is that he can be powered up. He's a higher overall. He'll get better speed, and you can put sprinter on him or whatever, brawler, bruiser, whatever, whatever the crap's called, and he can get abilities. So that's kind of the, the beauty of Tyree Kill. Now... If we come on down to his off-ball stats, or like um, when he's running, let's see, he's got anything. Oh, he's got a 90 juke move, so he potentially could get like jukebox, which is actually really cool. I'm gonna have to look into this. I'm definitely gonna power him up. I mean, I personally think he's worth it because I'm a Tyree Kill guy. I like having Tyree Kill, and he has 90 powered up, 95 speed. It's gonna be unreal, which really sucks. I bought McCall Hardman to kick return for me. Then Deion Sanders got upgraded, so he kick returns for me. Now I'm gonna have to give it to Tyree Kill, I think, right? So, kind of sucks. I cannot find any consistency with who I'm gonna keep. I had, I had a bunch of ideas of using people and I haven't got to use any of them. Now, guys, give me, give me a quick tip. If I Would I put Streak Specialist on Tyree Kill? Or is the 85 beat press too low to put Streak Specialist? Like, what do you guys think? Like, will I still get that same benefit? I don't know what I want to put on Tyree Kill, but I definitely want to use him as my second receiver. I'm tired of using receivers that aren't that fast or can't catch. Obviously, Torrey holds fast and all, but ain't no Tyree Kill. Tyree Kill is going to be crazy. I really want to get this card. Now, the issue is people are asking, should I use my power pass him? Okay, here's the thing. If you really love him that much, like like that, fine. But there's no way in hell I can justify using a power pass on a card that's 500k that we'll be going for in the 380 to 400 range within a few weeks over a limited time Mutt 10 card like Deion Sanders that I literally got. I, I got for like, I got for free, obviously, but he would have cost me like 1.4 million. I can't justify it. Now, obviously, if you're a guy that can't afford either anyway, and this is just like a player of preference, you just want to have your first big card. Then you can go Tyreek Kill, right? But for me, I'm, I'm a guy that has coins. I want to save coins. Because I, 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 I could buy them, but I'd rather get the efficient way of doing so. So for me, waiting for it just makes more sense. Waiting for Tyreek Kill, use my Power Pass and the LTD. But if you guys really want I mean, remember, you can also take the Power Pass off. So what I might do is I might take the Power Pass off of Dion 
and then toss him on Tyree Kill, try him out, and then put him right back on Dion. I could also do that. You could also, like, I was thinking about that. You could literally just exchange all around your team for who you want the power pass on for that game. Although, I don't really recommend that because, you know, probably throw off your team your team consistency and what you know like and what you like to do. But it's always doable. Now, coming up to the 92s and 93s, pretty much, I'm not going to talk too much. I just cared more about getting to Tyreek Hill. In essence, he's worth it. I think he's worth his power up. He's going to be one of the best receivers in the game. Crazy fast. A lot of kick returns, boys. Don't don't second guess it. It's just the price. You got to wait for the price to come down a little bit. I got to sell my paid man exactly so I can get some coins back, which I'll actually use to purchase Tyreek Hill. Now, obviously the Redux, like Calvin Kamara's gonna be pretty cheap. I really want him for some reason, although I know it's dumb. And it's really about it though. I mean, I'd obviously like Randy, but wow, the market's really coming down. The market is coming down, guys. Wow. Where's Randy George Kittle's right there one mil. He's below a mil. The market is down right now, guys. It's pretty crazy how cheap things are right now. What I recommend buying right now, you can honestly, you can pick some stuff up. Maybe not some Redux cards. Redux cards are still really expensive. But like, in my, in my opinion, this is a low point right now. I don't know if people are pre-selling for Thanksgiving. I think it's a little early for that. But I'm letting you guys know, you might want to you can start buying soon. I'm telling you, I think people are going to start pre-selling for Thanksgiving pretty soon. I think we're getting to that point. And it looks like that's what they're doing. Because this is way too cheap to just be, just be the regular marker right now. I don't know, guys. But that's about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn on that noty bell, boys. Come join the family. I appreciate each and every one of you. Let's keep grinding out to 12K. We're like 700 away. And that's it. Comment down below what you guys think of the market. It's honestly really cheap right now. I like bad. But I'm out, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next video. Peace.